Okay, I just did a recon on the other side of the forest. There are a small group of Zaku on the other side. Now I want you to go sneak in there and catch them off guard while I flank them. Oh, I am very, very sorry, but I will not be able to do that. What do you mean you cannot? I'm giving you an order! I'm very sorry, but I just can't move. Uh, is something broken or something? No, I'm perfectly fine. It's just that I've been engineered to be unable to move because of the tank treads are clipped into one of my wheels and I'm in a mobile suit. <laughs> ah, it's just a joke. Don't be in despair. You could possibly carry me. We could have more firepower together. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh, they are heavy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Go. Go. We can do it. God damn it! Hi everyone, I'm Colonel Greer, and today we're taking a look at the High Grade Universal Sentry RX-75 Gun Tank. This is the second time I've ever painted a Gundam model kit, and I think I did a very good job. I painted these long cannons, and these shorter cannons right here, a nice gunmetal gray color, and it really stands out. It's far better than the original color, which was just a very plain gray plastic. I also painted the back thrusters the same metallic gray that I painted on the guns and arms. All the gold parts that you see here and this piece right here were originally a candy yellow color. The whole red abdomen section was painted a slightly darker red and the original red was a candy red color. The wheels were beautifully painted with the same gray and also popped out really well. I think I did a very good job there. And if you notice any specks of color on the sheet, it's because I foolishly painted on top of it, and I'm probably gonna have to wash it. All the blue you see here, I kept unpainted. However, I dry brushed and spray coated the entire figure, which gave the figure a beautiful weathered look. And I also applied the weathered look also with the treads here. And there's also some more of the weatheredness on the sides. It's kind of hard to see, but I actually did a little bit of paneling with a pencil. And I used it across these lines here, as well as other parts of the figure. I think it can best be seen on the sides here where the seam marks are, as well as on the head. Unfortunately, all the spray coating kind of messed up this whole area here. There's supposed to be a pilot in there, you can see, but it kind of fogged it up. Overall, I think I did a pretty good job painting the figure, but it was actually surprisingly stressful. While the process of painting and building these model kits are fun and relaxing, often I made mistakes. Sometimes there was paint in the wrong areas, or I missed a spot, and I was all like, Oh no! I missed a spot here! Oh! I got some paint on here! I better get that off! Oh! Now there's more paint over here I missed! Oh! But I get that! Oh! But I get that! Bet! Oh! There's more paint even here! I shouldn't be here! Wait! Wait! That shouldn't be here! Ah! And as for the accessories, there are none! Just like I have no friends. Let's just move on to some posability. Limited ball joint at the head. Ball joint on the shoulder cannons. Rotation at the arm. The arms can go out. Move with the rapid fire cannons. And very limited waist swivel. Overall, the posability is very limited on this model kit. But that's okay because in the anime, he didn't really go into any dynamic poses. All it did was go around on the tank treads and it just fired at the enemy. And unfortunately, these tank treads are actually static. They don't work at all because as you saw in the skit, the gun tank actually mentioned how they were clipped into one of the wheels and they are right here. And because of that, they don't even actually move and that really disappoints me. And another thing that really annoys me is back here, it already fell out. This piece here is supposed to go into there and it just keeps falling out and it's absolutely frustrating. But despite those problems, this is actually a very solid kit. Everything stays well together besides those two, that one piece back there. And it's all in one piece, you can beat it around and it's all going to be pretty well. But this is meant to be mostly a display item, not a play thing. Let's move on to size comparisons. Here's the high grade Universal Century RX-782 Gundam, the DX Kira Maging, and my previously reviewed GX-82 Diton 3. So overall, this really isn't the most exciting Gunpluff unless you're a really big fan of the gun tank design, but overall it's still very solid and I highly recommend it. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and turn on the notification button. 
And until then, I'll see you on the flip side.